In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating mass density. This problem's got a lot of words on it that we can at least initially just completely ignore all of it. And we'll go straight down here to the bottom. This is where the problem actually starts. This problem is telling us that we have a liquid. It has a volume of 0.515 liters and a mass of 567 grams. And it wants us to calculate the density of this liquid. Density for a liquid is going to be the mass of the liquid divided by the volume of the liquid and the mass is going to be in units of grams and the volume is going to be in units of milliliters which are equal to i'm going to actually put this over on the side one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter that's going to come up later on in the problem so what we're going to do is take our mass 567 grams and we're going to divide it by our volume but we want to make sure that our volume is in milliliters the problem is giving us the volume in liters so we're going to want to start this out by doing a liter to milliliter conversion we want those liter units down on the bottom so they'll cancel one milliliter is 10 to the minus three liters milli is the prefix for 10 to the minus three so uh 5.515 divided by 10 to the minus three gives us 515 milliliters we'll plug that in up here 515 milliliters and we'll do the math on this 567 divided by 515 is 1.10097 grams per milliliter. Uh, so that's our density. It wants us to enter into this box. Notice that Alex is using the units grams per centimeter to the negative three. Uh, one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter. So that's the same unit. That's just another way of expressing these grams per milliliter unit to three significant figures. I've got a lot of extra sig figs up here. So this is going to be 1.10 to three sig figs. Next question, given the data above, so it's referring to this data in the table, is it possible to identify the liquid? So what we're doing here is taking the density that we calculated and comparing it to the densities in this data table. And it looks like there's one density in the data table that matches perfectly with what we've calculated. So we can say here, yes, it's definitely possible to identify the liquid because we have a matching density. And the identity of the liquid is going to be dimethyl sulfoxide. When you're doing this problem, if you get a number here that does not match up with anything in the data table, the first thing you should do is just check your math. Make sure that you did your math correctly. Um, double check it, maybe triple check it. Make sure you did your milliliter to liter conversion correctly. Um, and as if you're confident that you've calculated your density right and it doesn't match up with anything in the table, then you would answer no. 